Hi, my name is Raksan. So today I'm going to speak about Mary Anning. So Mary Anning, an inspirational woman who has born in 1799. She grew up in the seaside town of Lyme Regis, County Dorset, which is commonly known as the Jurassic Coast due to the constant uh, discovery of dinosaurs fossils. Mary's parents actually had 10 children in total. However, they all died, except Mary and her brother Joseph. Mary continued to underneath fossil. After fossil, she still sold her many finds, which increasingly filled public interest in geogly and paleontology. Mary Anning is a person who embodies the high school learner outcomes and habits of empowerment because she was brave to take charge and be accountable as an English fossil collector. Even though she was poor and there was no one to support her, she kept on studying and became an expert of pathologist fossil expert. Mary Anning was a fossil hunter and paleontologist from Lyme Regis in the UK. In 1823, Mary was the first to discover the complete skeleton of a plesiosaurus, meaning near to a reptile. Her discoveries and insight uh, contribute the identification and classification of a wide range of prehistoric life and change scientific understanding of the history of the earth. Uh, Mary Anning loved to be a paleontologist and fossil collector. Since childhood in 1823, uh, Mary was the first to discover the complete skeleton of a Plesiosaurus. When Mary Anning wanted to be become a paleontologist, she was turned down but still wanted to study to become an expert in fossils. As the first lady in paleontologist in England, Mary Anning lives in a situation where the struggles financially as sooner or later her patient oh her parent died and that uh, experience caused her to struggle more in her life her brother named joseph was the only one that supported her but later on he died even though she kept struggling she still want to study and be an expert of fossil research paleontologist Mary Anning, truthfully, an inspirational woman. She lived to a good age, despite the doubts, as eight of her siblings all died. In addition to this, she narrowly avoided getting struck by lightning, as the person holding her got struck instead, despite being a profession that was mainly dominated by men. Uh, she was able to make a name for herself and earn the respect of her peers and uh, becoming a famous paleontologist. She was able to uh, incorporate high school's habits of empowerment, she, uh, she, such as listen with heart and mind and optimize her potential and do my best by following her dreams and becoming a paleontologist. She proved that when uh, you set goals and follow the, your dreams, you can achieve anything despite your gender. Okay, that's the speech of Mary Anning. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe in YouTube, Raksan Razan's channel. Bye-bye. Sign out, homies.